All right, we're in another one of my favorite buildings in Riverdale, walking into a two bedroom, two bath apartment with a balcony. I'm gonna just back up and let you take a look at that while I tell you about the building. Uh, this is an elevator building. It's got a parking garage. This building was built from the ground up about five years ago, built to be environmentally and green friendly. Now let's turn around real quick and let's take a look at what we just walked in. You've got one large coat closet right at the entrance, double wide floor to ceiling. All right, and then on the other side, you have a smaller coat or utility closet, floor to ceiling. Now you've got an enormous open living room kitchen concept here. Let's take a look at the living room first. Let me draw your attention to this beautiful molding. And you'll notice a lot of electrical outlets throughout. Beautiful, huge, sun-drenched windows. And that door is going to take us out to the balcony in just a moment. But let me let you see floor to ceiling now. Beautiful inset lighting. We'll walk down to the end of the living room area and take a look around. We'll be facing the kitchen. Let's take a diversion and go outside and take a look at this balcony. The balcony is screened so you can leave it open. Going back inside now, entering the living room, turning left to the kitchen area. You've got a really great granite countertop on this pass-through bar area. You could put bar stools in if you weren't into like a formal dining type arrangement, but you do have room here for a table and chairs adjacent that would still leave you with an enormous living room area. All right, taking a look at this kitchen, look at this huge double wide fridge, stainless steel. It's the bottom drawer for the freezer, full size dishwasher, a lot of countertop, granite countertop preparation space. And let me just take a look here, a lot of cabinet space as well. This is a smoke-free building. You've got a video intercom to the front door right at the entrance. This would be the second bathroom. Glass sliding doors. All right, let's go back in, take a left, and we'll go down and Got a hallway separating the two bedrooms. Let's take a look at the master bedroom first. This is huge. This can easily fit a king size bed with nightstands, with a dresser. And look at this enormous closet space that you've got here. Two double wide floor to ceiling. Take a look at the master bath. And let's open this door for full size double stack washer dryer. Now let's retrace our steps. We're leaving the master. We're going into the second bedroom here. A little bit smaller, but could still easily fit a queen. A queen and probably two nightstands. And we'll close this door so you can take a look at this closet. Again, a very wide floor to ceiling walk in closet there. So your bedroom area is separated from your living room and your kitchen. This is a beautiful building in the Bronx. Come on down, take a look. We've got a parking garage here with a parking space available. 
You've got an entrance on Riverdale Avenue. You can also come into the building at the back through the parking garage on Irwin Avenue. Um, it's worth the tour. Come on down, take a look. We'd love to show you this apartment.